Hello friends, welcome to Quick Learn Tutorial Series. In this video, I will explain you PLC programming. This is part 3 of PLC programming where I discuss logic gate representation using ladder logic diagram. So let's start with the topic. So before I discuss the logic gate representation using ladder logic diagram, first I will give a brief introduction of ladder logic programming in PLC. Uh, here we see at the right hand side, this is the simple example of ladder logic diagram. These ladder logic diagram are basically the combination of vertical and horizontal lines. So the pair of vertical line in ladder logic diagram is called power rails or uh, bus bar and the horizontal line is called branching line or also called instruction line or also called rung. So uh, each ladder logic diagram basically consists of number of rungs. Uh, so this is called this horizontal line is called rung 0, second horizontal line is called rung 1. If this ladder logic diagram having third horizontal line that is called rung 2, rung 3, rung 4 and so on. So uh, this is called ladder logic diagram. Each rung basically consists of number of input and output. So in each rung input is mapped in the left hand side and output is mapped in the right hand side. Uh, so here we see in rung 0 this is the first input. For input here we use switch button, push buttons etc. And at the right hand side we map output. Output we show here in the form of lamp, motor etc. So in this way we give input instruction and output instruction in each rung. And the processor of the PLC read the ladder logic program from left to right and top to bottom. So uh, this is the basic concept of ladder logic programming in PLC. If we see this program it is just look like the normal ladder that is why it is called ladder logic programming now it means in ladder logic diagram all the inputs are given in the form of NO or NC contact so here I explain in brief what is NO or NC contact NO is basically normal open contact and NC is called normally close contact Normally open contact is represent just like the capacitor symbol and normally closed contact is shown just like capacitor symbol and a diagonal line over there. So in this way we represent normal open or in this way we represent NC normally close contact. Now what do you mean by normally open normally close? So as I have already told in ladder logic diagram or PLC input is given in the form of NO or NC contact. So these are the inputs or for input we use push button, limit switch etc. So if this is the push button and if this push button is open so this is called normally open contact. In this normally open contact, there is no contact between input and output and no current flow from input to output. Next is normally close contact. In normally close contact, this push button is off. Off means there is a connection between the input and output, a path between the input and output. So current flow in this direction. So we convert NO contact into the NC contact by applying a force. If we close this push button or if we push this push button, the NO contact is converted into NC contact. So this is the basic concept used in the PLC ladder logic diagram. Now by using this symbol, this symbol is called normally open contact and Alan Bradley call it XIC examine if closed. Next if the push button is closed that is called NC contact is mean normally closed contact and by using this symbol here we represent normally closed contact in ladder logic diagram and Alan Bradley call it XIO examine if open. These are the output or coil uh, in ladder logic diagram if output is energized then we show output in by using this diagram. 
and Alan Bradley call it OTE it means output energized if output is not energized in letter logic diagram then we show output in this form this is called output is de-energized so in this way we represent input and output in the ladder logic diagrams now now logic gate representation using ladder logic diagram as i have already told in my previous videos uh, ladder logic diagram or plc are based on boolean logic operation so in this video i will explain you some basic logic gates representation using ladder logic diagram so first gate is AND gate. This is the circuit symbol of AND gate. Uh, it is two input AND gate. So there is two input A and B and output is A dot B. Uh, and this is the truth table of AND logic gate. And the truth table says if any one input is zero, output zero, otherwise output one. So input zero, zero, output zero, input zero and one, output zero. So next one, zero, Again output 0 because this input is 0. Last is 1, 1. Both input is 1, output 1. So this is the truth table of AND gate. 0 means false and 1 means true. So here we represent AND logic gate using ladder logic diagram. So uh, as I have already told ladder logic is basically the combination of vertical or horizontal lines. So these are the vertical lines represent the power supply in the circuit. This is the horizontal line. In case of AND gate we connect two input input one and input two in series and output is also connected in series at the right hand. So input here we use push button and output for we use lamp. So when both inputs are turned on then output get energized. If both input are turned off then output is de-energized. If any one input is off then output also de-energized. Next is OR gate. OR gate this is the circuit symbol of OR gate. Uh, it is two input OR gate. So input is A or B and output is A plus B. So, uh, this is the truth table of OR gate. This truth table says if any one of the input is 1, then output 1, otherwise output 0. So, if both input 0, output 0, any one input is 1, output 1. So, input 0, 1, output 1, input 1, 0, output 1, both input are 1, output 1. So, if we want to convert this logic or gate into ladder logic diagram here we connect both the input in parallel and here right hand side we connect output next is NOT gate this is the circuit symbol of NOT gate NOT gate always give inverted output it means if we apply A in the input we get A bar output it means if we apply 0 in the input we get 1 at the output if we apply 1 in the input we get 0 at the output. So uh, here we convert this logic into the ladder logic diagram. So this is the ladder logic diagram of NOT gate. Uh, here we use two vertical line and one horizontal line. Input is shown in the left hand side and output is shown in the right hand side. For input here we use NC contact normally close contact and for output here we use any lamp or motor. If we give input 0 output get 1. If we give input 1, output gets 0. So these are the basic gate, AND gate, OR gate or NOT gate for Boolean logic operations. Now here with the help of a simple example, I will explain you how electrical circuit is converted into ladder logic diagram. This is the real life application. So uh, here this is the battery and these are the two switches, switch 1 and switch 2. And this is the output, it, mean, it means this is the coil. The coil will be energized when there is a closed loop between positive and negative terminal of battery. So this uh, circuit diagram, this electrical circuit diagram is simulate or convert into the ladder logic diagram. So this diagram says this coil get energized when both the switch get closed. Otherwise, if any one of switch is open, the coil is de-energized or not energized. Okay, so what is the logic of the circuit? The logic is AND logic because AND logic says 
if both the input is 1 or true then output is true otherwise output false or zero so uh, this is the end gate to table 0 0 0 0 1 0 both input get 1 then output is 1 only so this is the end gate logic both the switch get closed output get energized or coil get energized so here we convert this uh, electrical circuit diagram into letter logic diagram logic is end gate logic so here we use two vertical lines for power supply one horizontal line called rung input is shown in the left hand side output map in the right hand side both switches here we connect in series because it is a end gate logic or here we see in the uh, circuit diagram both switches are connected in series with coil coil also in series so here we connect switch number one and switch number two in series with coil when both switches is turned on or both switches are closed then output get energized so in this way we find some logic in electrical circuit diagram and then we implement or represent ladder logic diagram in my next coming video i will explain you some more gate just like nand gate xor gate or nor gate representation using ladder logic diagram and some more interesting examples keep watching and keep sharing my videos bye bye